Hi everybody, welcome back to Tales from the Rails. My name is John, I'm your host. Today we're at the Southern California Railway Museum. We're standing out in front of the Cottonwood Station right here. Uh, inside, Ken Schwartz has an update for us. Cottonwood Station for another update. The last time we talked out here, we were talking about our windows and our doors. Well, finally, with your good donations, we finally got my window in up here inside. So technically, what we're going to do now here is, because of your donations, we finally got ourselves a nice breeze that will come on through now to our building. We've got our different train running around on the top today uh, up here. We've got all, all kinds of them running. Our other newest collection in here was we got this steamer truck delivered. And technically, this is how they used to move them around. And this is a special cart that they would use. And they would wheel this on out to the, uh, out to the trains and then hoist them up inside the baggage cars. And also, the last time we were out, we uh, were talking about, we're going to uh, start working on the inside too. Uh, when the weather starts cooling down here in the fall down here, we're going to be re redoing the drywall over here inside the main part of the building. Um, so with your, again, with your donations, those are helping me out getting this stuff done. Uh, the outside of the building, uh, I've already got some of the paint out there already. Um, and again, once it starts cooling off, we'll start getting ready to prime the outside of the building to get it painted. One of the other things, I think the last time we were here, I didn't get to show this. This was one of the other nice things that was donated to me. And I get a big kick out of this is because this is how they used to do it to move around. So that was filled with milk or creamer and it was going to be loaded onto the train. So it usually comes up when it closed. So this is the neat part about it. You come up here, put your foot on the, on the top up here. You're going to open it up, bring it all the way in, it closes down, and then you give it a little bolt and it will pick it up. And so this was one of the other ones that I wanted to show you. And again, it was uh, a donation and from one of our members here. He thought it would be good uh, for the train station. Come on inside the building in here real quick. All right. Another thing that I did not mention the last time here, we've had members that have passed away in, in, here and they've donated stuff like our hats but this is something that is very close to me this was from my mentor his name was uh, John Tate and this was his jacket and as you can see that on, a, on our jacket here we still have our original patchwork from when we were the Orange Empire Railroad Museum under operators John had taught me a lot and taught me how to be an engineer, how to be a car conductor, and when he got sick and ill, he, his family thought they could donate some stuff, and I said I would surely would love to have his jacket to hang inside the building. So that's what I ended up with. I ended up with his jacket and his vest. Now the vest is given to another young gentleman that's in operations right now because he could not afford a vest, and he's about the same size as John. So we made a deal. I said, as long as you're out here, you can wear the vest, but if you are going to leave and not be in operations anymore, I would like the vest back so I can hang it up in here. So he's been here now roughly about five years and wears that vest proudly. We talked about this the last time. After the building has settled now, we have starting to get a little bit of the cracks up in the ceiling. I'm gonna, I have two members that have volunteered to come in and do the work. So we're going to uh, get drywall mud, and then once we get all the patchwork done in here, we are going to repaint it. Now, we've had several people say that they think it should be painted in the UP color, some think SP. Since we're an SP area down here, that's good, but I would like to try to keep it as the neutral colors. And that is with the light and the dark on here, because I think it does better for this building. And by the time you see it next time, it should be repainted and it'll probably end up in these colors that we have here. So once again, thank you very much for all your uh, donations and thank, uh, and 
time to watch this video and we'll give you a further update. Talk to you later. Okay, as you can see, uh, we still have a ways to go in finishing the Cottonwood Station. If you'd like to help us out, you can go to the website, socalrailway.org, click the donate button and help us out. Thank you.